Not just green on your dress, Scarlett, but green on the screen today. A big rebound here on this turnaround Tuesday, coming off those three big days of losses in the market. Of course, most of those losses are far from being recruit, but a lot of folks will take it. And S&P and a NASDAQ gaining about a percent here on the day. Similar moves for the Russell and Dow. But take a look at the VIX. We went basically from what was the biggest surge in the VIX going back to 1990 to today, the biggest drop in the VIX going back to at least 1990. The inversion of the yield curve, that continues, though we did have that brief uninversion yesterday, Scarlett. But overall here, the picture being painted seems to suggest that for whatever rattled Marcus over the previous three days, some people are comfortable coming back into this market. At least for now. We'll see how it, of course, goes on. And a lot of it depends on earnings. And that is giving some stocks a specific boost. Uh, let's start with Kenview, up almost 15 percent, the best performer in the S&P 500. The consumer goods company's sales unexpectedly rose last quarter. Remember, it sells things like Listerine and Tylenol. Uh, that makes it a clear standout from other consumer goods companies like P&G, for instance, which reported disappointing revenue. Uh, the weakness here, of course, at Kenview was its skincare line because it also makes Neutrogena because of lots of competition. Uber also reported results. The stock is up 11%. Second quarter gross bookings. That includes ride hails, uh, delivery orders, and driver and merchant earnings, but not tips. Uh, that came in higher than expected. The CEO, Dara Khazrashahi, says that we are not seeing any softness or trading down across any of their income cohorts. So you can see that stock uh, also helping Lyft get a boost there. Lyft, of course, reporting earnings tomorrow morning. Now, our top story this hour is big media's pricing power. Disney announcing plans to raise prices on its individual streaming service and bundles by double-digit percentages following recent hikes from Netflix, Comcast Peacock, and Warner Brothers Discovery's Max. Now, the increase lifted shares of Disney today, and it will feed into its outlook when the company reports earnings tomorrow, along with WBD.